Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Normally we're in the studio. Today I've come out for one particular reason and it's to do with this camera, the ZV-E10. And what I want to demonstrate is the capabilities of this camera with Catalyst Browse, using Catalyst Browse to do the image stabilization. So if you're into vlogging, I'm not really into vlogging, but you'll be able to see how good Catalyst Browse is for stabilizing the footage. There's been criticisms across the internet of the Sony cameras not being great for vlogging because the image stabilization isn't great. Unlike the Olympus cameras, uh, Panasonic cameras, they've got fantastic five axis image stabilization. But why not do it in post-production uh, rather than do it while you actually film? So this is now filming with the uh, ZV-E10 and you can see I've actually got the kit lens on, the 16 to 50 kit lens, um, and it's kind of in what I would class vlogging mode, you know. Um, it's got eye detect on, um, and it's really good. Now, I've had to turn off all the image stabilization. It doesn't work with image stabilization turned on. It uses the gyro data that the camera records to do the, uh, the catalyst browse to stabilize the footage. It does crop it in a bit. You can adjust the crop actually. So it can be anything, I guess, from 0% to 100%. But we're gonna go through that so you can see how catalyst browse does it. Now I'm not holding this particularly steady as you can see from the other cameras. Um, basically I've got my second camera, which is me ZV-E1 filming over here. Uh, that's just filming you know, the introduction shot and what have you. And then I've got my um, uh, Insta360 uh, there, which is a uh, 360 de degree camera. So that's kind of handy for when I'm walking around. We might be able to cut to that, I don't know, if I don't trip over the tripod. So as I said, we're now using Catalyst Browse. Um, sorry, we're, we're now filming without any image stabilizations. It doesn't work with image stabilization on. And you have to set a faster shutter speed. So I've got it set to one two hundredth of a second. Normally, because I'm in the UK, I would set it to one fiftieth of a second. But I've got it set to one two hundredth. I've got my Rode Wireless Go microphone uh, plugged in. So I should be getting quite reasonable sound quality from it. Um, don't trip over the tripod. Um, so let's see how good this Catalyst Browse will stabilize this footage. And this could be an awesome alternative, rather than using the electronic image stabilization that's in the ZV-E10 and the ZV-1, uh, use it uh, the stabilization after you've done the filming. And that could well be an ideal alternative. Also, with the active steady shot turned on, if you're using the inbuilt stabilization in the camera, it crops it really tight. So you need a wider angle lens than the 16mm that I've got on. Where with Catalyst Browse, it does crop it, but you have a choice as to how much you crop it. So you're not restricted to a set crop, you can choose the crop depending on how much stabilization that you want. I know it's an extra process to go through, but um, that extra process could well be worth the effort, you know, um, if you find you're getting really good stabilized image. Um, I've got the grip on it at the moment, the Sony grip. I put it in the video what that grip is called. It's great because you can uh, zoom, you can do uh, set it, you can start and stop the recording, you can use it for taking photographs. It is really good. Um, as I say, I'm not one for vlogging. Um, I find the ZV-E10 is fine for vlogging. I would probably use the ZV-1 because I do get a bad arm. Uh, let me swap the camera over. That's better. Uh, maybe that's a better arm to use. So, um, yeah. So, as I say, no stabilization in the camera. I will entirely use Catalyst Browse for stabilizing this footage uh, in post. Um, be interesting to see how many other cameras are picking up the scene. So um, yeah, it's quite nice to be out of the studio rather than always be in the studio. So uh, I thought I would do this whole video outdoors. Um, and a great thing with these little cameras, you can set up a mobile studio very easily, can't you? Uh, you know, you can't do that with big camera, well you could, but you know, I could fit these three cameras, one little bag, a couple of small tripods, jobs are good. Um, and I love the quality that comes off my ZV-1. And as you can see, um, 
I'm, I'll probably use this shot I've got on the ZV-1 now, so I can rest my arm a bit. <laughs> I love using the ZV-1 for indoor use. I use it mainly for my close-up camera, but this is a great little camera for going out and about with. Um, and if I want to take a, a mobile studio, I would take me a couple of ZV-1s and the ZV-E10. As you can see, I'm using the ZV-E10 for filming um, uh, the ZV-1 there. And it's, um, it's great. It's a, um, you know, a, a great piece of kit. So as I say, the sound is going into the ZV-E10 and I'm going to be purely reliant on the uh, Catalyst Browse to stabilize the footage. Uh, I mean, one two hundredth of a second is faster than you would normally use, but you shouldn't know for vlogging. You shouldn't see any difference. Um, there might be a bit you know the hand movement might not look as good as it would do at one fiftieth of a second but you know as long as we've got nice stable footage particularly if you're walking um and uh let's just walk down the garden path and you'll see uh once it's stabilized it should be pretty good so um yeah a great great little camera uh, now catalyst browse does work in uh, uh, many cam many of the Sony cameras actually. It will work with the A7C. I know that because I've tested it. It works with the ZV-1. Um, apparently, it works with the ZV-E10. Well, we're soon going to find out if it does or if it doesn't. It basically relies on the gyro data that the camera recalls to the SD card. Why the image stabilization has to be turned off in camera, I don't know, but it does. Otherwise, it won't it won't stabilize it. So. And it doesn't like it if you, as I said many times, if you uh, run a slow shutter speed, it does require a faster shutter speed. So um, yeah, that's the, uh, you know, using the ZV-E10 or the ZV-1 um, with Catalyst Browse. So there we go. I hope you found that, uh, that little tutorial useful. Um, and as I say, I think it could be a great option if this works, uh, as opposed to using the active steady shot that's built into the camera. Use, you know, use the alternative, which is post stabilizing, rather than using, you know, the internal stabilization. I know uh, many software, uh, uh, Adobe Premiere has a warp thing, isn't it? A time warp thing, thing that stabilizes footage, but it's not using the gyro data. So it's not gonna be as good as using the gyro data. So, um, you yeah, know, it'd be interesting to see. So there we go. Hope you found that useful. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Hit the like button if you like the content of this video. That really helps me grow the channel. Really, really appreciate that. And tell all your friends about my channel. That would be awesome. So um, please subscribe and hit the like button and stay tuned for more videos relating to video and photography. Cheers for now. Bye. <laughs>